I'm a very busy guy, and being busy stresses me out. That's why I carved out two whole days to sit on this park bench to find some level of peace and spiritual enlightenment. I'm doing this because my spiritual hero Eckhart Tolle saved his own life by sitting on a park bench for two months. At the beginning he was suicidal, by the end he experienced a level of fulfillment that most of us will never know. Oh, and he also got an Oprah. If he can do it for two months, I can do it for two days, but there's only one challenge. No nicotine, no Mary Jane, no caffeine, no phone, no food, unless it's provided by the universe. It's a good park. I picked a bad spot though, I'm gonna get blasted by the sun. Did I hit a rock bottom four months ago, which explains why I have been relatively quiet on YouTube and social media? Yes. Did it lead to the second great transformation of my life, which is now fruiting and flowering? Yes. Did I have nothing? No job, no girl, no friends, no creative outlets besides survival? Yes. So I'm on a park bench today with nothing but canteen of water, a coat, and $10,000 worth of video equipment. Here's what I'm up against. Back pain. I could go hungry because I didn't bring any food. I could give up because it just gets so boring. Or my brain could just run rampant and I could start to think that outside stresses are more important than my spiritual success. Or maybe I'll just straight up lose my mind. But I'm optimistic. I think we can do this. All right, one hour in the park, and I've already found food for the day. Damn. That part of his story of sitting on a bench always stood out to me that he didn't bring any food. Everything you need just came. We'll see if that keeps happening, but I do love oranges, especially in the morning, because they're easy to digest. The first couple hours were actually kind of pleasant. I got some food, some sun, but then my head started to spin. I started to think about things like work uncertainty, some deep-rooted trauma work. Oh yeah, I gotta do my taxes. Wakanda. Losing it. I've been on this bench for 11 to 12 hours. On the positive side, I feel like I have space. So much space. When Eckhart Tolle sat in a park for a month, he brought no food and the universe provided it. He said he would find a little donut or something here or there. And look what I just found. A little donut. Let's see if there's anything in it. Oh, Eckhart Tolle was right. The park provides. I can see why so many people choose to live out here and squirrels. What's your name, sir? G. G? And uh, how long have you been coming out to this park? A oh, long time, 40 years. Really? Yeah. You like this park the most? I live in the neighborhood. I used to run around the perimeter. Now I, <laughs> now I ride it. Oh, there's a squirrel. Oh, there's a squirrel. My, my dog died two years ago. Wow. That's her paw print right there. Yeah. So I came to the park one day and I was just kind of crying. The squirrel came up to me, hopped on my lap and she put her paw on my hand. I'd never seen a squirrel do that before. She likes having her belly rubbed. The funny thing is about squirrels, they bury nuts. They only ever remember where they buried about 10% of them. So 90% of the nuts that squirrels bury never get found, which is how the trees reproduce. Who's here? Lauren. I brought lunch. Now you might say I'm cheating by having my friends come out with a whole platter of food, but all I got to eat was this nectary. And besides, I would say that these are people that the universe has provided to me. People that love me. People who will stick by me while I do strange little adventures for YouTube. And even once they'd left and I was facing my remaining six hours, I didn't feel alone. I had achieved a place of complete stillness. An orchid in the eye of a whale. And if none of that's relatable, just know that I felt good. And it didn't escape me the fun little adventure I'd had. 
I had old friends come out, I made some new friends, and the universe actually provided food. Oh, and I met a bunch of squirrels. The power of now is key. Eckhart Tolle may be a strange little man in a cardigan, but he improved my life. I hope this little homage to the park and how powerful it can be improves your life for free. Thank you all so much for watching me sit on this park bench for two full days like the great Eckhart Tolle. If you want to see more human experiments, adventures, and friendship, like and subscribe. I feel like Forrest Gump. This bench is my home now. Life is like a box of thin mints.